Hi everyone, Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can use easy mode on the Galaxy S6 or the Galaxy S6 Edge. It's the same on both of these devices and it takes this interface right here and simplifies it. So if this is your first smartphone, you might enjoy starting off in easy mode and you can go into easy mode and then when you feel you need more, you can come back to this mode without resetting your phone or losing anything. It's, it's a really nice feature and you're gonna be able to use it to kind of get more acquainted with your phone. First thing you do is pull down on that top part. That's how you can get access to your settings, quick settings, and then we're gonna tap on this cog right here. That's gonna take us into our full settings. Now, you may be up here all the way at the top. We're just gonna scroll down about halfway till we see easy mode. I'm going to tap on easy mode and right now you can see we're in standard mode and I'm going to tap on easy mode and then I'm going to scroll down here and I can choose the apps that I want. So if I don't want a certain app because I know I'm not going to use it at all, I can turn it off and it won't put it there for me. Most of these you'll want, I turn email off because I use the Gmail app which is a lot better than the built-in email app. Everything else you'll probably want to keep and then hit done. And it's going to kind of, it looks like it's going to reset, but really all it's going to do is quickly switch the look. And so now we are in easy mode. On this main screen, we have some of our main apps. And we, you notice we still have access to the internet. We have our gallery. We have the same camera. So you're not really giving anything up. It's just making things a little bit bigger, easier to find, and for some users, easier to use. And I can go over here and I can hit plus and it will let me pick a new app to place there. So for instance, I mentioned I use Gmail instead of the regular mail app. Now I can put that there and I can fill these up with other apps that I use frequently. You'll notice this also adds a magnifier so you can use your phone as a magnifying glass to see things that are hard to see. And you can tap on this more apps to just see all the apps you have. You still have a smartphone. You can still go to the Play Store and download new apps, <clears throat> but it's just a little bit easier to get around and use. Now up here at the top, you have a help button, which will walk through using easy mode, how to manage your contacts, your shortcuts, and how to edit your home screen. So you always have, no matter what home screen you're on, access to that help so that you can find that. Now you can tap on edit and this is where you can add new home screens. Say you want more contacts over there or more apps over here, you can do that just by tapping that edit up there at the top. And then now we can tap plus on any of these and we can add more app shortcuts so that the apps that we use are always handy. Now over here, you can actually grab and add a contact. So, I'm just going to create a contact. You can go into your contacts. I just don't want to show you who I call all the time. And then if you want, you can take a picture. And that'll be the contact image. Just so you have an idea of what you get here. So now that contact is right there. So you can tap it and quickly access them so that you don't have to go into your phone dialer to find them. And that's really all there is to using easy mode. Now when you want to exit easy mode, you pull down, go into settings, and you'll notice your settings now have a quick settings up at the top by default where you have all of your common settings. And here I'm going to tap on easy mode, and then we tap on standard mode and this is going to turn easy mode off. And I'm going to hit done. And within a second, I'm back to the regular mode. You'll notice everything's just the way I had it before. And it's all there. So that's all there is to using easy mode. We have a full tutorial on gottabemobile.com. There's a link in the description of this video so that you can go see more about how to use this and learn more about the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more.